Well, I I used to have soldiers on the, the fort, but I don't. And used to have battles with my brother. You know, he, he was a bit older than me. But he used to win all the time. Yeah, he used to be able to buy them. Uh, the soldiers would be on a strip of cardboard, so many, and then there'd be horses, and they'd have a lance, and that, it moved their arms, moved up and down. That was made of lead. But, okay. And then it was painted, beautiful colours, you know. And then you had the fort, well, that's it. That was a wooden fort up in the square. It had the thing what went up and down, you know, the drawbridge and all that kind of thing. And you you built round it, if you know what I mean. You, I do. So, with your fault, is that something that someone would have bought for you or do you think someone made it for you? That, that would have been made by my Uncle George, you know. He was a carpenter and he, he made it and... It was just, you know, the chains and the little half um, round hooks what went in and you could lower it up and down, and, you know, <clears throat> and it's that as you um, done things, you know. Uh, and, of course, going to the films in them days, you saw the, um, you saw out there the different forts and that where the Muslims were and uh, you kind of copied it. OK, what, what about either Morris or Pat? You were, Morris, you were saying about soldiers. Yeah, we, I had, I had, uh, I had some uh, soldiers in a fort, and it was a, a, a replica of the famous Fort Apache, where, uh, where uh, yes, this was in, this was in an America, fort, fort Apache, and it was the place that was held after, I'm sure most people have heard of the Battle of the Little Bighorn, and this was the only defensive position left to the Americans, and they were being followed up by over a thousand yards away by these Iroquois Indians. And the whole theme of the thing was that this trooper was walking round the ramparts of the fort, and this Iroquois Indian is standing on the cliff, on the, on the cliff top, and he fires this rifle, and it's a French rifle, it's called La Longue Carbine, and it kills this trooper walking round the fort, and it's the longest, it's the furthest that anybody was ever shot by a rifle, it was 1,300 yards. And that's I was I was giving that by an old friend of mine for for a Christmas present, who uh, was also a Scot and also had emigrated to Canada. <laughs>